We're going to look at grades and the grade reports. Let's log in as a teacher, go to grades, and our very first report is the grader report. Hopefully by now you've had a bit of a look through the grader report and you can see how that works. You can see here we have separate groups, group one, group two, or all groups. We then show the student and the student's results. We also have grade history, which allows you to go back through and check any grades that have changed over time. This is really useful for reporting or to go back and see if anything's been modified. You can set the dates from and to, and which user as well, or all users, and which grade item you're using. We have an outcomes report. We're not using outcomes for this yet, so we'll come back to outcomes later when we look at the outcomes. We have an overview report, and if we choose a group, group one, and choose a student out of group one, you can see that it shows for student, course one full name, a student has a grade of a total grade of a B plus. Student two has a total grade of an A based on the result they've completed so far. We can go to our single view where we can choose either a grade item or a student. We'll choose a grade item first, assignment one. And assignment one shows us the student or both students and the grades that they've currently received and any feedback. If we choose override, notice the feedback has HTML in it. That's really annoying. We can choose to override. And when you override a grade, the really important thing to remember is that because that grade is overridden in the administration or in the this part of the grades, you can no longer edit the grade back in the normal grading area that you would for an assignment. So if you do make a change here, remember that does restrict being able to modify the grade anywhere else. So we will actually take that off, that override. Save and grades were set for zero items, so there was no changes. That's the single view. We can also do a single view for a user. So we can choose student instead. Grade for assignment one, quiz one, and no results for the rest. Oh, wait a sec, we have a H5P of 10 there as well. So you can look at that individually. If you'd like to look at the report from a student's perspective, you go to user report, choose the student, and this will show you the report that the student gets to look at. And this is where you can decide how you would like this report to look for a student. You can decide whether you want to show or hide calculated weight or percentages or even their feedback. That's all again, that's optional. So you can decide how that report will look and you change all of those settings in setup. So you go setup, course grade settings, scroll down to user report and decide what you would like them to see. You may not want them to see the uh, percentage, the weightings. So we will hide the weightings, select save, go back to our user report and choose student. And you can see how the weightings has been removed now. So they can just see their grade, the range, their percentage. Again, you may only want them to see their grade and their feedback, and that's it. And you can do that. You change that in the, the setup, course grade settings. You could remove everything else and just leave them with the minimum amount of information if that's what you need. That's an overview of the grades reports.